With every passing moment, with every passing day, Friday is slowly coming. Next week, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series will release not only one episode, but two episodes, hinting, of course, that at the end of episode two, we will have a Darth Vader cameo as well. And by the interviews and the photos, I just can't wait to see Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen back again reprising their roles after so many years, more than a decade. I've been scouring every single trailer, promotional material, and even how have delved into a lot of Legends material too, trying to figure out what they will actually do with the series. Since the trailers hint at some things, we still don't know what exactly will happen in the series, how the story beats will go. The crazy thing about all of this is that Ewan McGregor just confirmed that almost everyone that he has seen online has been wrong with their predictions, throwing fans for a loop. Of course, this might just be something that Disney told him to say only to throw us off the scent, but whatever the case, we are still cooking up a lot of theories watching, wanting to know the ins and outs, but one particular confusion that has been going on even before the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is of course, how did Obi-Wan age so fast from Revenge of the Sith to A New Hope? If you didn't know by now, from Revenge of the Sith to A New Hope takes place in a span of 19 years. Even back in the day, people were wondering how did a Ewan McGregor looking Obi-Wan in Revenge of the Sith aged so fast as to look like this old man in, in Alec Guinness's Obi-Wan? You can imagine that now questions have been even more fiery online, knowing full well that now years after Order 66 and Revenge of the Sith, this Ewan McGregor looking Obi-Wan that we will see in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series still doesn't look as old as Alec Guinness looks in A New Hope. And this this is about a decade before that happens. You can imagine that the questions are now even crazier and we're pondering what has actually happened. Set aside Revenge of the Sith, now the question is, how did Obi-Wan come to look so old from this Obi-Wan in the Kenobi series to the Obi-Wan in A New Hope? Of course, the out-of-universe explanation, we all know it. There are different actors back in the day. Alec Guinness was an old man when he played Obi-Wan, and Ewan McGregor just is this dashing blue-eyed devil that will never age. But as much as we want to talk about out-of-universe explanations, sometimes there is some in universe explanations as well. And I think that the show will probably give us one. I remember back in the day, for years, we used to speculate that the age gap had a simple explanation. It was because of Tatooine's harsh climate. Obi-Wan had been through an incredible amount of emotional trauma during and after Order 66, and a lot of fans just simply chalked it up as emotional strain and the two-headed monster that are the Tatooine sons. Now though, with the Obi-Wan Kenobi show just coming in a week, people have started speculating about a new theory that could explain how Obi-Wan came to look so old in A New Hope in such a short amount of time. Many people think that in the show we're, ac we're actually going to see Obi-Wan use a life-draining force power in this new series, which will definitely make him rapidly age basically draining his life force. To some, this is interesting, and to others, it's far-fetched. Honestly, myself, I'm kind of in the middle here, but I definitely want to know what do you guys think, so leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but all in all, I think Lucasfilm will just leave it as an out-of-universe explanation, meaning that simply put, different actors played Obi-Wan in different areas of his life, and that's how he simply looks. Force Drain actually existed in Star Wars Legends. Some fans Fans know that Darth Sidious actually deformed himself pretty quickly in Revenge of the Sith, but if you've researched a lot, you know why Palpatine rapidly turned himself into a monster during his duel with Mace Windu. It was actually him electrocuting himself, absorbing his dark energy, revealing his true face, unveiling the mask. There's a lot I could say about Darth Sidious's deformation, but I'm not gonna go there. We're still talking about Obi-Wan and why I think it would be pretty great to see some force drain or force heal power that could sap the life force out of Obi-Wan, showcased in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Some force drain techniques that have been shown recently were in The Rise of Skywalker, where, pa where Palpatine actually used that kind of a power 
on both Ben Solo and Rey. The speculation is suggesting that Force Train is not something that Darth Vader particularly does, it does not seem that the Inquisitor Reva does either, or the Grand Inquisitor for that matter, and for all intents and purposes, Darth Sidious might make a voice cameo in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, but, but not a real one. So it's been suggested that Obi-Wan himself will use this, this life-draining force power. After using this power, it will sap his own vitality. The scenario for this could be that in the show there will be a pivotal moment where Obi-Wan desperately needs to save the identity of Luke Skywalker and himself, so he will perform a force power that will protect and hide his identity and Luke's presence on Tatooine, basically hiding, hiding both of them from the Darksiders so that they cannot feel their presence on Tatooine and locate them. This kind of falls in line with what we see in A New Hope when old Ben Kenobi scares away the Tusken Raiders and then proceeds to hold his hand on Luke's forehead, therefore leading people to believe that he actually used Force Heal on Luke at that moment. And by that alone, he could use a similar Force power in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show that could drain his life force and eventually lead him to be to look even more older by the time A New Hope comes around. What's even crazier is the fact that if you think about it, in Star Wars Rebels, Obi-Wan was a complete old man by that time. Although at the time we see Obi-Wan in Rebels, it takes place just a short while before A New Hope. It still gives us an indication that even before A New Hope, Obi-Wan was an old man. There's a whole lot of speculation out there, but I would love to know what do you guys think more specifically. Talk to me down below in the comments. Will something happen in the show that will lead to... Obi-Wan going from a Ewan McGregor looking guy to Alec Guinness. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies, now you have an awesome day Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video and may the force be with you. Until then.